So, what was that, and how did I make it? Well, I'm glad I asked. So that is my YouTube play button that I made in celebration of 15k subscribers. It was actually supposed to be for 10k, but since it took me so long to finish, I decided it should be for 15k instead. So to make this, I started by designing and buying a custom circuit board. The company that I used for this was JLC PCB. JLC PCB offers low cost, high quality PCBs, and for the time being, free shipping on your first order. Also, they sponsored this video. When you're on their website, you can scroll down and you'll find one of their family sites where you can actually design your own PCB for free online. At first it looked a bit intimidating, but after a little while I was able to figure it out. What's cool about this site is that if you use their parts store, you can just search for the part you want, copy this number, paste it into the parts search bar, and your part should be ready to use on your board. After hours and hours of work, I managed to finish my PCB design. So then I generated my Gerber file and downloaded it. Finally, I went back to JLC PCB and uploaded my Gerber file. By the way, you'll have to make sure that the uploaded file is a .zip file. If it isn't, then you'll have to compress it. Also, in order for your PCB to cost only $2, it will have to be either 100mm squared or smaller, which is about 4 inches squared. Lastly, I purchased my PCB. After several days, the PCBs arrived in a neatly packaged box. I opened the box and removed one of the PCBs in order to test it. Thankfully, I had made no errors in designing the PCB. Next, I spent around 6 hours adding all of the 446 LEDs and 400 tiny resistors to the board. Then, I wired up an LED controller to the board. After that test was complete, I wired up a music amplifier to the audio jack and my board. Then I played music through it and the board actually lit up. It's very dim, but keep in mind this is just a proof of concept. The basic idea is that when music is played through a speaker, little bits of voltage are being applied to the speaker. So my plan is just to hook up multiple voltage regulators to the speaker output on the sound amplifier, and wire the regulators back to my play button. And that should supply enough power to fully light up the board. But first, I cut an acrylic sheet into a piece small enough so that I could fit it on my play button. And then after about a million tests and configurations, I somehow got the play button to pulse to music. After designing and 3D printing a housing, I cut the acrylic to fit the case and hot glued it in place. Next, I put the PCB into the case and put spacers next to it to hold the PCB in place while I glued it down. I then put all the switches, jacks, and variable resistors into the case. Next, I wired everything up. And finally, I screwed the top of the case in place. And now it is finally finished. So on the top of this play button there's a volume controller, a switch that changes between normal and music mode, and another switch that switches between the internal and external speakers. On this side we have an audio output jack that can be connected to any speaker system. On this side there's a power input jack and an audio input jack. Now let's plug this thing in and fire it up. So the LED controller I use lets you use a remote control with it, which I can use to power on and off the play button. 
It also lets you switch between eight different modes. Most of them are just flashing or pulsing. To play music through it, all I need to do is flip the switch and plug some sort of music player into the audio input. The songs with the most obvious beats and without singing work the best, but most songs can still look pretty cool. By the way, all of the lines and flickerings that you see here are just because of my camera. In real life, they aren't there. I did my best to minimize them by changing the settings on my camera, but you are still able to see some. Alright, so that is it for this project. Thanks again to JLCPCB for sponsoring this project. Make sure to check out their website. You can even get free shipping on your first order. Also, thanks to Banggood for supplying some of the parts for this project. If you would like to build something like this, I left links to all of the parts in the description. Thanks for watching. Adios.